700,000. 700,000 what I'm gonna sell. What do you say, sir? 700,000 what I'm gonna sell her. At 700,000 she's here for sale. You miss her, you miss her forever. At 700,000 I'm gonna sell her. I sell her out now. She sells for 700. First seal is about to pounce on the outside. Winks is trying to go with it and thinking of you, but first seal exploded. She raced away at the 200 from Echo Gal. Then Winx press report and thinking of you, but first seal, get in the queue if you're on it. It's raced away, and first seal's going to be much too good. Wins it by three. First seal claimed Group 1 victory in the flight stakes in Sydney. She was a $700,000 purchase out of Caramore's 2013 draft. And this year, Gordon Cunningham presents her full brother. I recently spoke to Gordon about the exciting draft of yearlings he has headed to Caraca 2015. Gordon, you've said this year's draft has enough class to rival uh, the class of that famous 2013 draft you took to Caraca, horses like Kuro, Rockfast and of course First Seal. That's a big wrap for this year. Well really, look, that's a, um, it's been a great thrill to see all those horses go on and perform like they have done. But, you know, amongst the horses that we have here, uh, look, I think there's uh, s several prospects that could possibly emulate some of those performances that we saw in the spring. Well, Gordon, let's check out some of your standout lots now. Lot 83, the Redoute's Choice, My Good Grace filly. You've got a big opinion of this filly, of course, the family of Tavi. And uh, fourth in the Golden Slipper last year, Believe Yourself. That's right, Alicia. She's a, she's a lovely quality filly. She's quite, quite fine and to me she looks very fast. She um, comes from a, a terrific family. Her granddam Good Faith was a high class two year old in her own right. Um, you've seen the likes of Tavi this year or Believe Yourself last year who competed at the highest level um, in Australia. And look, this filly, she's She's, she's, as I said, she's got quality, but she's got a, a lovely, quick action to her. Um, she's got a wonderful disposition. I could see her this time next year being, you know, a precocious sort who will get up and run. But, you know, eventually when you see the likes of um, Private and the Cat's, Whis Cat's Whiskers who were sold through our draft years ago, they've gone on and produced stakes performers in their own right. So she's a filly that ultimately will have a lot of residual value eventually, but hopefully with some group performances in front of her as well. Let's cross now to one of your colts, lot 85, the Fastnet Rock Mer Colt, a half-brother to Doncaster Handicap winner and four-time Group 1 winner, Triple Honour. This mare has been a terrific producer. Um, this is her 12th fall, of course, but, you know, look, when you look at the page there, you could almost breed her to a donkey and she'd, she'd throw a good horse. So this colt by Fastnet Rock, well, look, he's. I just uh, I've got a big opinion of him. Um, he's he's very strong. He's got a strong action. He's got a great deal of quality and balance to him, and you have to really respect him and think that he's he's a high class prospect to perform on the track. Well, back to another filly now, Gordy. Lot two four seven by an exciting new sire in Kate Blanco out of Group Two Eight Carat Classic winner. She's been good to you, Elegant Satin. You've got a big opinion of this filly. Yeah, indeed. Look, um, we're very fortunate to have um, Elegant Satin amongst our broodmare band here at Curramore. She's owned by Niarco Stud, and her colt um, last year was the highest priced um, high chaparral colt of his crop. Um, she's producing high-class folds when you have a look at this filly as well. And, you know, Cape Blanco himself was a terrifically well-performed horse. I think he's a big addition to our ranks here in New Zealand. And, you know, you go a long way to find a filly of this quality um, anywhere in the world. So I think she's, um, she's a very athletic filly. You can see the quality in her. And, you know, I hope she's up there... Um, in the next couple of years with um, some group success to her name. Lot 311, the Satterville Cat Schmear Colt, a half-brother to Goodwood Handicap winner, Velocity, a, a Caramore family and a striking type of colt, Gordon. Um, he is indeed. Look, he's he's obviously a, a Savabile to look at in colour and just his, his the stamp that he has. But, you know, he's got size and scope and um, he's just a, he's a good, strong colt. Um, 
it's a family that we've had here from the time his dam retired to stud in that philosophy it was produced here but also and significantly is Maastricht who we sold here two years ago from our Karaka draft. Um, Maastricht is one of the most promising fillies in Victoria in the spring and I, I like this colt as much as I like Tim at, this, at that filly at the same time when we offered her so I think um, he offers a lot of um, opportunity for somebody to buy a, a colt at the top end of the market. Well, another yearling that takes the eye lot, 317, the master craftsman chasing mammon filly, the uh, Grand Am, a half-sister to Holy Roman Emperor. Look, she comes from a, one of the best families in the world, um, this filly, and I think it's significant that her dam has already produced a stakes filly in Royal Ocean, whom we sold here two years ago, or from the farm two years ago. Um, I've got a big opinion of this filly right from when she was growing through as a weanling. She's got size and she's got lots of scope. And she's by Master Craftsman who I feel will, over, over the coming months and next year in particular, make a bigger name for himself than he already has. Um, with, you know, he's got a lot of very promising fillies coming through and th there's a big chance that he will emulate his deeds in the Northern Hemisphere where he's already been very successful. So. I like this filly and, you know, she's a filly I wouldn't mind putting my own money into. Well, back to the Colts, lot 330, a high chaparral crimson dawn colt, a half-brother to group winner Miss Rose DeLago from the family of male desert and you sold the full brother last year for good money. Yeah, we sold his um, full brother last year for 240 or 280,000, I think it was. When I saw, when I saw this colt at Coolmore, you know, look, he stands out with his markings and everything, but you know, I place a major emphasis on, you know, their how well, how athletic they are and how they move and whatever colour this horse is, um, I think he's a very good prospect. He's um, for a high chaparral, he's got good maturity, which I think is important, and he's got a very solid mind and just uses himself well. And I could, you know, I could see this lad getting up as a an autumn two-year-old and, and perhaps making a big name for himself in the spring as a three-year-old like some of the best high chaparrales have done. Well there's been a lot of interest around this next Colt Gordon lot 372 he's uh, sure to be on the China Horse Club shortlist that's for sure the full brother to group one flight stakes winner first seal whom you sold at the sale two years ago the Fastnet Rock episode Colt. Yes look we're again very privileged to be offering um, a Colt of this profile at the sale on behalf of Raffles and over the years we've sold one or two for the last three or four years and and we've got a very good strike rate with what we've offered offered on on their behalf. This Colt, look, he's, um, he's, 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 he's very strong. I think he's got more strength than perhaps First Seal did at the same stage, but he's, and perhaps looks, you know, he's got a quicker action to him than perhaps she did. Um, as a son of Fastnet Rock, you have to rate him regardless, and the fact that he's a full brother to one of the very best by Fastnet Rock is is significant also. So I'm expecting there'll be good demand for him. Um, not quite sure where his value takes him, but look at the at the end of it all, he has to rate as a very high prospect to achieve on the racetrack. With a draft of such high quality yearlings, Gordon looks capable of claiming his second leading vendor crown. Well, Haunoi Farm will head to Karaka with a premier draft of 15 yearlings. And after a successful year on the farm, they'll be hoping to carry those results through to the sale ring. I recently caught up with Shannon Taylor to discuss some of their standout lots. Fifteen yearlings in the premier draft for Hanoi Farm, Shannon. How happy are you and, and the Chitties with the overall draft this year? More than happy with the draft, Alicia. Um, they've come a long way, obviously, since we started preparation at the end of October. We've got a nice even line of horses, good size and physique, which is really important in the commercial market. A variety of stallions, so hopefully a horse to suit every buyer's tastes. And yeah, as I said, more than happy with their progress to date. Well, it's certainly been an incredible season eh, for Ifraj, leading three-year-old sire in New Zealand, and now with showcasing a great pin-up for the Karaka Million. 
It is. It's been a great season. Obviously, it's great to have two young stallions doing a job out on the track. Showcasing's got three qualified for the Cracker Million, headed by Showboy, who won the Wakefield Challenge Stakes. Um, and interesting to note, he was actually a festival yearling, so everybody should be looking through the entire um, yearling sales catalogues if they're, they're looking for the next qualifier for the Cracker Million. Well, Shannon, we've got a small but select selection of yearlings to look at today for the farm. Lot 220, the Commands Valpola Challa filly, a full sister to the Chris Waller group performed Villanova and a half to stakes placed Vavasaur. A lot of residual value about her. Definitely a lot of residual value in that filly. She's a filly that comes from the Haunui Farm Foundation family. Her dam, Valpola Challa, I think is the eighth generation of that family that the chitties have been breeding from. Um, the mare was a really promising filly on the racetrack. She was a Group 3 winner. She was the pre-post favourite for the Queensland Oaks and then went and missed. So, but it looks like she's going to be an even better broodmare. Villanova is her first foal, already a Group 2 winner and Group 1 performer. Bava saw finish runner-up in the Royal Stakes on New Year's Day. So she's two from two to the races. Her third foal we sold last year, a $260,000 filly by Thorn Park and then this filly, so um, definitely a lot of residual value on that page. Well, we'll head now to another filly, lot 408, the Savabelle Glorious Summer filly, with a beautiful international page, and the dam's a half-sister to Jewel Group 2 winner and Derby placed up the Fremantle. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head when you said international pedigree. Um, she's by a champion sire in Dan Seeley. She's from a great European family, and by Savabelle, who's obviously doing a fantastic job in Australasia and making his mark and becoming a champion stallion as well. Um, she's a filly that we bred with Marie Lester and her late husband Nelson, so um, I think a nice filly, nice style of filly for buyers to be looking at um, in a couple of weeks' time. And last out of the blocks today, Shannon Lot 304, the Fastnet Rock Captivate Colt out of a Group 1 winning mare and on paper one of your strongest in the draft. Certainly is, he's a, he's a great colt and by a champion stallion and any colt by a champion stallion like Fastnet Rock out of a Group 1 winner has got stallion potential if they do the job on the track. Um, this colt we're offering behalf of, on behalf of the Moore family of Soliloquy Lodge. Um, he's a nice style of colt, a nice tidy Fastnet Rock colt. He's the best foal that the mare's left to date and you know with a page like that he's certainly going to be well inspected and pretty busy on the sale ground. Kaunoi Farm will be represented in this year's Karaka Million with farm graduate Showboy, who earned his place in the race after claiming victory in the Group 2 Wakefield Challenge Stakes, giving Sire showcasing his first stakes winner in the Southern Hemisphere. Showboy's out of Thunder Gulch mare Shades of Silk, making his granddam the dual Group 1 winning two-year-old Lycra. He was purchased from Haunui Farms Festival Draft for $15,000 by trainer Nigel Tiley. He was a very mature uh, yearling. He's a nice early foal and his uh, grand dam was a uh, Group 1 winner with a man of a two-size produce. And he was by showcasing and, you know, the showcasings that I saw I really liked, so I was quite determined to go home with one. First thing we did was took him home and gelded him because he was a bit of a handful. But no, we've just put him through a system and he, and he showed us a bit early, like he had his first start over 800 metres. Uh, he'd won a trial at Avondale before that. So, you know, we just we just take him to a certain stage and some carry on, some don't. So he was one that did. Lethinus, when he rode him at the trials, he said to me he's not a natural two-year-old. He said he'd be a much better three-year-old. So what he's doing at the moment, he's just doing on pure ability. He was very unlucky his first start. He did a lot wrong. He sort of hit the front you know, just after he turned for home at Ruakaka and he got a bit lost and he veered off the track. Um, had he gone straight, I think he would have, you know, given Maritimo a run for her money. Uh, I was very confident when I took him to Wellington. Um, you know, as a race, I thought he could win it and he, you know, sat three wide and did it tough. So it was a good gutsy run and, and he didn't have the best of luck in the Eclipse either, but, um, you know, he keeps finding the line. So that's, you know, it's a good, good result. Look, I think he wants the speed in the race. I think the faster they go, the better chance he's got. Um, you know, the draw's going to be important, of course. So, but it, look, I'll just leave him to whoever's going to ride him. So, we'll leave it at that. Look, I'd like to draw inside about five or six. I think, um, the, you know, there's always speed in those big million dollar races. So, yeah, if he, if he drew inside five or six, I think it'd be perfect.
International Animal Health, the Australian company, make a range of quality products which help improve the health, growth and performance of your animals. Our goal, like yours, is the achievement of their full potential. So when you next need an animal health product, look to International Animal Health for a range of products to suit your animal's needs, including high-performance nutrition, probiotics, worming, first aid and grooming. Our business is growing your animals better. Pentire, Australasia's most versatile stallion, a consistent source of high-class racehorses capable of competing at the very highest level. Sire of 12 individual Group 1 winners to date, including Mufasa, Furlax, Excellent and Rangi Rangdu. And look at Excellent! Look at Excellent flying right down the outside! Amazing! Speed, class, durability. Give your mare a Group 1 opportunity. Breed to Pentire. Contact John Thompson or Mike Rennie at Rich Hill Stud. Bursting with talent, New Zealand Bloodstock's premier sale continues to produce some of the hottest stars of the turf. With seven Group 1 winners last season and five more already this season, this sales week showstopper features the cream of the yearling crop. Be at Caraca 2015's premier sale to have your own New Zealand experience and take a piece of it home with you. One twenty. Once you've got the family, no one else can have it. One thirty. One hundred thirty thousand. And a hundred and thirty thousand. Well, the hammer's up. I sell her out now. I sell her for one thirty. Well, back in the field, Platinum Ballas with way in, and further back too as they head down with Silk Pout and Q Zero. Two fifty to go. Oh, Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn strode to the lead. Put two lengths on them. Says, "Come and get me if you can." Passing shot is running on. So is Prince Mambo down the outside. Arctic Wolf, but it's Oh, Marilyn in front. Prince Mambo's a length and a half away. This is a huge performance. Oh, Marilyn, yeah, you beauty. O'Marillan scorched a victory in the Group 1 Manawatu Sires Produce Stakes last season. She was a $130,000 purchase out of the 2013 Premier Yearling Sale. Well, there are 14 new season sires in this year's Premier Catalogue, which includes progeny from the likes of So You Think, Sepoy and Smart Missile. Recently, Kiwi Bread filmed a selection of yearlings on offer by local freshman sires. Windsor Park Shuttle sire Paul Moir will be well represented by his first crop of yearlings at the Karaka sales this year. Windsor Park's Rodney Schick believes Paul Moir has left a very dominant type, describing his offspring as athletic and strongly made, much like their sire. The first yearling we look at is Lot 57, a Paul Moir filly out of Zabil Mir Mir Le Fay, who boasts a wonderful international family. Look, she's a lovely, um, a lovely filly. Um, out of a family that we've had for a while, it's the uh, Arg Khan's family. I brought the grandmother uh, back when I was on my OE. Um, but look, Mia Le Fay, the mayor's done a, done a good job. She's got a um, Tidy Express who's been a really good galloper and Lady Le Fay who's um, done really well this season. So look, it's a good pedigree. She's a lovely staying type and uh, as I say, out of Isabel Mia, you can't get much better. Lot 193, a Paul Moir Sympathy Colt whose dam has already produced two very smart types on the racetrack. This colt's um, really like his father, he's got a huge amount of strength. Um, he's got a really nice pedigree, as I'll show a heart mare, uh, who's had two to race. Um, um, thinking of you, who ran third in the flight stakes this year, winning filly, um, so she's a, you know, making a mark. And also she, he's a half to a horse called So Man Up, who, was, who won his debut race by seven lengths as a two year old, high chaparral, but tragically um, um, broke his leg in a, in a group one race in the size produce. So look, the mayor's doing a really good job and he's a very physical type. The final Paul Moir yelling we take a look at is Lot 242, a cult out of Zalata. Another Paul Moir Zabil cross with staying blood in the family. Yeah, this horse is a real New Zealand staying type. He's a big scopey horse and um, you know I think he'll go to the market well. Uh, his half brother, um, proactive in Australia, um, trained by the Snowdens. You know they're talking up derbies with him, so you know really looking forward to seeing him race. You know once again out of Isabel Mir, um, you know as I say he's a, he's a lovely star. 
Five-time Group 1 winner and former New Zealand Horse of the Year, Jimmy Shu has a nice selection of yearlings across all three sessions at Karaka this year. Richel stud proprietor John Thompson describes his yearlings as strong and well-balanced. Jimmy Shu is represented in the premier sale by Lot 168, a Jimmy Shu colt out of Japanese bred mare Shadow Ray. This horse is a half-brother to a Karaka Millions winner and um, Occam's Razor that we bred and sold and any suggestions first crop and uh, of course half to another stakes for in Jungle Juice and you know of all the horses he looks probably the most precocious as you'd expect and uh, Lightning may strike twice hopefully he's a Karaka Millions winner as well. Lot 366 at Jimmy Shu, Ali Harafili who is closely related to racetrack performers Penny Jim and entirely Platinum. Phillies from a family that we've done really well with over the years. Of course, the, the dam Ali Hara is a full sister to Penny Jim, who is a high class Group 1 winner by Pentire. Of course, uh, also this season, Entirely Platinum's come up, so the mother's a three part sister to Entirely Platinum, and you know, she's a strong, typical of that family, plenty of leg and very athletic filly, and um, should sell very well. Jimmy Shoes offspring in the select sale include Lot 674, a cult out of Zabil Mir Chariot. He's personally one of my favourites. He's got a lot of scope and very athletic horse, lovely walking horse, a lot of length to him. He's out of a Zabil mare and of course um, that cross with Thorn Park over Zabil produced the Great Ocean Park, the Cox Plate winner. So, you know, uh, that's why we bred the horse and uh, we've got the right result looking at him. The progeny of Redwood will also hit the Karaka sales ring this year. Westbury studs Russell Warwick believes that the offspring from the Group 1 winning son of High Chaparral will be a great representation of their sire, including Premier Lot 235, the Redwood cult out of O'Reilly Mare, written by Sound. It's been a family that can really produce a good horse and the likes of Pravda and Cronus and uh, Samantha Miss all come from this family. Um, he's a lovely athlete and uh, well-rounded, well-balanced type of horse and uh, couldn't be really be happy. And it was important to us that if we had a Redwood or two in the premier session that uh, they did represent the horse well and, and created a benchmark for buyers to be able to say, well, we must look at the other Redwoods that follow this horse through the sales. So um, we're really happy with him. He's a really nice colt. Redwood select yearlings include Lot 644, the Redwood romantically cult who is closely related to multiple Group 1 winner Sermione. Right from day one, this horse has been probably one of the best Redwood foals we've had on the farm. Um, he's grown out exactly that way as a, into a yearling and a very nice one at that. Um, he's the first foal of the mare uh, romantically and she herself for half, as you said, to Sermione, winner of the McKinnon, the Australian Cup. And further back, it's a family that uh, Cambridge Stud have had a lot of success with, the likes of Woolvet and Buzzet and uh, Great Command, who won the New Zealand Derby, all come from this family. So uh, she's done a great job for a first foal, and, um, and he's, so is Redwood because he's very much a Redwood in every respect. So uh, really have high aspirations for him coming into the select sale. And Lot 981, a Redwood colt, the first foal out of Exceed and Excelmere Glory Run. When we mated our mares to Redwood in this first season, it was important to us to try and give them a good cross-section of mares and um, some of these horses that may be perceived as staying stallions uh, need to get runners on the track to remain com commercial and so we uh, put a few mares like you've seen Excel mares and uh, Reduced Choice mares and uh, Volkswagen mares and such like to them in the hope that we'll be able to breed a runner in the autumn as a two-year-old and uh, this horse really fits into that. He too is a first foal and uh, his dam is uh, out of the Group 1 winner Penny Gem. She in turn is a three-quarter to entirely platinum, who's one of the top horses with the Hawks stable in Australia at the moment. So get up and put uh, Redwood on the map early. He's very much a Redwood in every shape uh, and form. He's got the same head, the same white star, same black colouring. So um, yeah, look, you, you look at him and you can see Redwood, what he might have been as a foal. Kate Blanco has strong representation in the Premier catalogue and according to Cambridge Studs' Marcus Corbin, Kate Blanco has stamped his progeny with strength and muscle. The stud are very excited about the draft they offer, including Lot 2, a Kate Blanco filly out of Group 2 winner Cartoon. This is a big scopey filly. Cartoon uh, is a filly that uh, Mia owned by uh, the boss and Peter Walker. Her first foal by Charmanel looks very promising with the Kelsos, and this filly's in the same sort of mould. She'd be a classic three-year-old, um, Capstad over Galileo. Um, she's Oaks bound type of horse, but she's just a big, strong, lovely walking filly and great attitude.
Lot 36, a Cape Blanco love diamonds filly, whose half-sister was knocked down for $400,000 last year. Well, here's another one that shouldn't be in the sale, but um, look, she's just a special filly. A half-sister won a trial by several links with um, Jason Bridgman, owned by Coolmore. The older, her, her other older daughter by High Chaparral won a first start by four links in Australia. And um, look, she's just got the pedigree from hell. And uh, again, a great individual, very typical with the, with the white socks and the markings of the eight carat family. And uh, any other, you know, any stud would love to have her. Lot 142, a Cape Blanco repenting colt who is related through his granddam to champion New Zealand stayer, she's sensational. Well, he's my pick of the whole lot of the Cape Blancos. I'm a bit biased because I brought the mare, but um, he's just an outstanding colt. He's big, strong, great Gaskin, just just like his father. And look, he's just a derby colt all over. And he's from a good family. She's sensational. And uh, he's just got attitude and he's just, just a bull. With a tempting selection of first season sires and a quality catalogue, it's gearing up to be an exciting two days at the New Zealand Bloodstock Sale at Karaka. Join the team on TAB Trackside 1 on Monday the 26th and Tuesday the 27th from 10.30am to catch all the action live. And I'll see you there.